but let's wrap it all up into a bowl. Okay. 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 No, we're putting it in a bowl. Yes, that's where we're putting it. Yeah, it does. The next chapter is a present. Okay. All right. So, what I am asking for is I want you to sketch the graph, find me the end behavior, completely factor it, and find me all the zeros of said function. Okay? Make it happen. It is negative x cubed plus 3x minus 2. Okay. Correct. Oops, we're still on the freeze. Okay, get over from the freeze. Now we are off of said freeze. All right, so. See, I don't know why this thing does that, and then we got to somehow figure out settings on this thing so that it can be gone. I don't like it. don't like it. End behavior. I can do that one. Again, I'm going to do the graph last, but I can go right to end behavior. Non-negotiable on the format of end behavior. Okay? It is as x goes to positive infinity, f of x goes to something. And as x goes to negative infinity, f of x goes to something. That setup is non-negotiable. Okay? Meaning, if on Tuesday I give you a give me the end behavior problem and yours doesn't start or look like that, you are wrong. Okay? Really? Hmm? I don't know. There, people have written it a lot of different ways, and I've sat there and I've just done this. For those of you paying attention on the interwebs, I'm shaking my head. Okay? Yeah. yeah, exactly. Some people do, some people have done the f of x first. Some people just write x and then f of x. It's, yeah, there's, there's a lot of cray cray people out there. Am I the book? No. I'm better than the book. Okay. All right. So this is an odd degree, right? So that means that they're going in opposite directions. Okay. Even degrees would both go in the same direction. Odds going opposite with a negative lead coefficient. So that tells me that this one goes to negative infinity. And this one goes to positive infinity. Agreed. Okay. My possible zeros here for that are plus and minus 1, plus and minus 2 are my possible zeros. Which one do you want to try first? 1. Okay, let's try one first. Negative one, zero, three, and negative two. Negative one, negative one, negative one, negative one, two, two, zero. So that is a zero. So that tells me that my f of x here, oops, I'm my f of x has been factored into be x minus 1 times negative 1x squared minus 1x plus 2. Agree with me on that? Would anybody be offended if I took a negative 1 out of my trinomial to get my squared term positive? Is that going to offend anybody? Good. Because that's going to make this become negative 1 times x minus 1 times then now x squared plus x minus 2. 
is x squared plus x minus 2 factorable. What does it factor to be? Nope, you got it right. Okay. Can I factor any more? Nope. So then that would be the factored form of f of x. So what are the zeros of f of x then? No. What are the zeros of f of x? 1 and negative 2. They're both the same. Okay? All right? So now, with that being said, with the fact that those are my zeros, so I have a zero here, and I have a zero here. But what do I know about that zero at positive 1? Why does it, 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 it comes up and it kisses it, right? Because it's a, it's a double root. Yep. So this one is going to come up here because the, as x goes to positive infinity, f of x goes to negative infinity. So that tells me that that's going to go there. Because the 1 here, these two repeated, that means that that is a double, so that's a kiss. It's going to come down here a little bit, and then it's going to go shooting up like that. Agree? Okay. Questions on that one? Try that one. All right, so end behavior, non negotiable, as x is going to positive infinity. Where is my function going? Positive infinity also. As x is going to negative infinity. Where is my function going? Positive infinity, because they're going in the same direction. Okay? All right? Factored form. This is a factorable trinomial. Factors to be x squared minus 4 and x squared plus 1. Okay? Which x squared minus 4 then factors to be x minus 2 and x plus 2. Oops, I put an equal sign there. I want to put an equal sign there. So that is my factored form of f of x. This one gives me a 0 of 2. That one gives me a 0 of negative 2. This one gives me two zeros of minus i. Okay? So the zeros here are positive and negative 2 and positive and negative i. Okay? So that tells me that my function goes through here. It goes through here. But it also has a y-intercept of negative 4. So this function is actually going to come down like this, 
go down, come back up, go back down, and then make it look like a W. Hold on, just wait. Tap the brakes. That was what I said when I said wait before. Okay? Sit down. Wait. Okay? Questions on that one? Okay? If you don't see that that makes a W, what's your other option to get the graph from? Use a graphing calculator. Okay, there's our first one. Oops. There's our second. This one is due Monday. Okay. This one is due Tuesday. And there's a formative. 